So here you've got the, this whole part right here is the scrotum. So it's the tissue, the skin, and the connective tissue is the scrotum. Inside of it is the testes, and then the epididymis surrounds it. And then you go from the epididymis, the sperm then goes into the ductus deferens or the vas deferens. And it comes around the bladder to the backside, and it expands back here. This is the ampulla of the ductus deferens. These are the seminal vesicles of the ductus deferens. This is the bladder, urinary bladder. This is the prostate gland right here. So the ductus deferens expands, that's the ampulla, and then it picks up fluid from the seminal vesicle. And then if we open it up, the ductus deferens then is going to come down into the ejaculatory duct and it's picking up fluid from the seminal vesicle that comes down here into the ejaculatory duct, which is in the prostate gland. This is the prostate gland right here. I saw it out here. It's right here. So sperm is going from the ductus deferens, ampulla of the ductus deferens, ejaculatory duct, and then into the prostatic urethra. And then we go into the membranous urethra that runs through the urogenital diaphragm. And so we're picking up fluid from the seminal vesicles, goes into the ejaculatory duct. We're picking up fluid from the prostate gland, goes into the prostatic urethra, <laughs> membranous urethra. And they don't show it here, but there's a gland that would sit. It would sit back right back here the bulb urethral gland. So we pick up fluid from the bulb urethral gland, goes in here to the membranous urethra, from the membranous urethra into the prostatic urethra out the body. Okay. So the other thing to note on here, this is obviously the bladder. Um, this right here is the pubic synthesis where your two pubic bones come together. That's right here. And then when you look at the penis, this is erectile tissue, the tissue that is right around the urethra. That's called the corpus spongiosum. And then this tissue right here, this erectile tissue, sits slightly dorsal, slightly behind this. And this is the corpus cavernosa. So corpus spongiosa, corpus cavernosa. Okay. We have the same thing here, the bottom. Same thing on there. So <laughs> uh, spongy or penile urethra, corpus spongiosum is around the urethra, corpus cavernosa sits dorsal to it. <laughs> okay. So over here, just looking from out here, so this would be the um, pubic bones and where they come together, pubic symphysis. So this is anterior, this is posterior. And so here you can see you've got the bladder is right here. This would be the um, uterus. This is the fallopian tubes. This is the fimbri of the fallopian tubes. And this is the ovary right here. And then if we look down here, this right here, this external genitalia, this is the labia major, this is the labia minor, and then all this fatty tissue that's right around the pubic symphysis, this is the mons pubis. So if we open this up here, so again you can see the labia major, the labia minor, this is the mons pubis, this fatty tissue. In this fatty tissue, you've got some erectile tissue, just like you did in the penis. This is the clitoris right here. And then if you come over here, 
this is the bladder, urinary bladder. Coming out of it is the urethra. So you can see it's much shorter than in the males. Females have a very short urethra. If you come back further, this right here is the vagina. There's connective tissue that covers the inferior aspect of the vagina called the hymen that gets broken when you have intercourse. So the hymen would be there, the vagina, the most inferior part of the uterus is called the cervix. So when you go to get a pap smear, they put in the um, swab and swab the cells of the cervix like this. So that's the cervix. This is the uterus. And the uterus has different layers to it. The innermost layer is called the endometrium. This middle thick layer is called the myometrium. And then the part that's on the outside, the basically connective tissue that surrounds it, is the perimetrium or the serosa. And then coming off of the coming off of the uterus here, you've got the fallopian tubes or the uterine tubes, and then they expand right here, these finger-like projections called the fimbri and then the ovary sits right underneath it. And then you can see this is the ovarian ligament. It connects the uterus and the ovary. That's the ovarian ligament. And the follicles would be inside of the ovary. Mm -hmm. yep. And the oocytes would be in the follicles, so that's all inside. Yeah. And most of the connective tissues you can't see, but there would be um, connective tissue that surrounds all of this. It surrounds the uterus, the fallopian tubes, and the ovary. That's your broad ligament. And it connects these structures to the wall of the abdominal cavity. That would all be the broad ligament coming around like this. Um, uh, what else that is one, there? Uh, the, the infundibula. So that's just so that's the different parts of the uterine tube. So it's really hard to see on here the different parts of the uterine tube. You have the infundibulum would be the part that goes the first part, and then down here is the fimbri, is the part that wraps around the ovary. Yeah, and these ligaments, you can't really see those on, on here. They're just connecting different parts together. Yeah. Did you just finish? Yeah. Good. <laughs>